Perfect. All right, so I just want to check that my sides are really nice and smooth. Me too. The force is strong with this one. The force is always with you. Ha! Hey guys, it's Elise and welcome back to My Cupcake Addiction where I am joined by the fabulous Jen from Cupcakes and Cardio. Hi guys. Jen and I have just finished VidCon and we're going to do an amazing Star Wars collaboration. If you guys don't follow Jen's channel, what can they expect to find when they come over? You can come over to my channel for cakes, cupcakes, desserts, all sorts of things, just like Elise here. Pretty much, if you love what you see here, you're going to love what you see there. And Definitely. we've actually collaborated before. Yep. We met an amazing... Virtually. Virtually, virtually. Yes. But this is our first time meeting together. In yeah. It's fun. It's like a, it's like a major bake-off, really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> So today I'm going to show you how to make Star Wars lightsaber pull apart cupcake cakes and I'm going to put Jen to work making the green one and what do we make for yours? We are making five super simple, really easy Star Wars cupcakes, different themes. Which were amazing and I learned a couple of things, I definitely <laughs> did. Let's get into it. So we're going to be using um, some green buttercream and some red and some brown, like her chocolate you can use. And they all have round tips on them, nice and big ones so you can make a nice flat surface. We're going to be using different sorts of sparkle gels and we've got green and we've got red. And then some little fine details, we've got some red candies, uh, some round and some square or you could even use something like M&M's. Perfect. And we're going to use 12 cupcakes per cupcake cake. We've got a little bit of wax paper and... This is not entirely true to form, but this is going to be your lightsaber handle. I've also got a couple of boards. I'm not using cake boards today. I just got some boards cut to size because I wanted them really long. I'll leave measurements down below so you guys know what size I got. And I'll also leave a link to that template. You're also going to need some melted black candy melts and a couple of Ziploc bags for some of that fine detail work. All right, so we decided to put our candy melts into Ziploc bags, but you can also use piping bags. This is Jen's first time ever first piping. First time, I don't know what I'm doing with this. She's gonna be fabulous, <laughs> she's gonna be fabulous. So we're just gonna cut a nice little tip off the end of our Ziploc bags. And these are great, because you can customize the sizes. You can go as thick or as thin as you like. And we're gonna put a bit of wax paper over our template and okay. pipe around the outside edge and then fill them in. Okay. Work in that Ziploc bag like a boss, Jen. <laughs> All right, perfect. So with our little handles sort of first piped, we're gonna do a second coat, but you can take your little button just the first little button and pop it like in the middle. And then we want to let those ones completely set. So once they're set, we're going to come back and do a bit of the ridging and then we can add in the other buttons. Pop those off into the fridge, like five minutes. Okay, perfect. All right, let's do it. Okay, with the candy melts in the fridge, we're going to put our lightsaber cupcakes onto our tray here. So we're just going to take some of our chocolate buttercream and we're going to put a little dab on the bottom. You don't need too much, right? No, it needs too much at all. Okay, and we're going to start right at the base and then just build our way up and that's just going to help us be able to transport it safely so they don't run around, right? Perfect. So we're just using a little bit so that you can still pick the cupcakes up really easily. But when we take this to the party or when we lay it out, they're not going to slide all over that smooth surface. Look at us sharing. <laughs> Look one, at that. One I me. did two though and I didn't share. Oh. There we go. I'm going to learn better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised that we're both like, we're being so generous with each other's bench space. <laughs> we're like, oh no, you use my piping bag. Oh please, you first. <laughs> all right, so now that they're all stuck down, we're going to take our chocolate frosting with the round piping tip and we're just going to pipe our, like a smooth round swell on the bottom three cupcakes. Okay. This will be the handle that the chocolate part goes over, the melt the melts part? It absolutely will. And I also want to say try and get your frosting to meet up at each mm. cupcake. So it's almost like kind of smooshing right up, having a, having a little cuddle with the frosting next to it. Let's give it that smooth kind of concise look like it's actually attached. Like it's actually one. <laughs> All right, lightsaber handles are out of the fridge. So you want to take your black candy melt and we're just going to kind of like zigzag it back and forth just on the handly bit. On the handly bit, that's the official term. Just to give it like a little bit of texture. Okay kind of like to the little line just before we get to the red button. And you can go over it a couple of times if you want for extra, extra texture. Oh, look at that. These are looking beautiful. Lovely. They're actually, they're actually not looking that great, but they will <laughs> once they come together. So now you can take your three little square candies and just pop them kind of like in a little line. Okay. And like I said, don't go and watch a Star Wars movie and quote me on this being absolutely <laughs> correct. Perfect. All right, they're going to go back up into the fridge. We're going to let those little ridges set and we're going to keep frosting our cupcakes. Okay. So I'm putting Elise to work since this is her channel and all you know. So she is covering the cupcakes with a nice flat swirl with the open tip. She's such a hard taskmaster. <laughs> and make sure that they touch, right? Yeah, make sure they touch. <laughs> all right, I'm done. Okay. 
So now I'm going to take the green and you're going to do the offset spatula? I'm going to start smoothing. Okay. So when you smooth these, you want to try and sort of smooth them so that they're not looking like individual cupcakes. Almost bring them together. We've only piped them on. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we've really only piped them on to get that even amount of frosting on each cupcake. And we are going to put a little bit of piping gel around the outside edges to give it more of a sort of a straight edge side. Pull apart cupcake cakes are the best. They are so easy to serve. They're actually really easy to bake. You don't need any weird fancy shaped pans. They're always going to look a little bit like cupcakes. So when you're doing something like a lightsaber, you've got to use your imagination a bit and sort of work with the shapes. But they're a fantastic, really easy and really fun addition to a party. Totally. And you don't need to cut anything. You like there's no slicing, there's not going to be any mess from that. All you're going to have is the wrappers left over and that's so easy to use with kids. Like it is, it is. So to smooth off my edges, I'm just going to make sure I'm working with a really clean offset spatula and then I'm going to come down the sides and just try and make sure that I've got the straightest edge that I can. So our lightsabers are looking lightsaberish and our little handles are out of the fridge. So they should just peel really, really easily off your wax paper. With these ones, don't make them too thin. We made ours kind of thick so that they don't crack or break when we put them on. And I'm going to slide them straight down under those chocolate oh, cupcakes. Oh, so cute. It looks awesome. So next up, we're going to take the sparkle gel and we're going to go around the outside edge of the lightsaber, the colored portion. And how thick do you think we should outline it? I kind of think it needs to be like maybe a mil or two. I don't think it really matters. This is really just to give you like the straight edge. Kay. So try to keep a steadyish hand. And you'll notice as we pipe, we're actually not touching the frosting, so we're piping about a centimetre or so above the frosting height and just letting that little bit of piping gel kind of fall down onto the frosting. We're done. Our little lightsaber pull apart cupcake cakes are done. Oh, yours is way... Oh, oh, oh. This is going to get really messy. <laughs> but fun. Messy but fun. Messy but fun. Thank you so much for having me in your LA kitchen today. My, yes, my temporary home. We're all renting today. <laughs> Make sure that you go and check out Jen's channel, Cupcakes and Cardio. Those five super easy Star Wars cupcakes are going to be the perfect addition to your lightsaber pull apart cupcake cake. Star Wars party. Thank you. Thank you. As always, check out Jen. You're going to love her. I know you're going to love her. Links are below. Links are around. Pretty much anywhere you click, you can find Jen. See you Bye. next time.